No, no, no. Something, something bigger. I know. Very awesome. Before we start the review, I want to say a special thanks to Devin from the band for sending an advanced copy. Now let's get right in the review. Today we'll be looking at the band Obelisk, and the album is Violently Twisted and Sickly Disturbed, and that's not just the description of the album, that is actually the name of this album, and it lives up to it. First, a little background on the band. They are a two-piece band all the way from Missouri in Virginia, but by listening to this album, you would never believe that this was made by two people. I know the conversation around Deathcore has been a very mixed bag recently, so if you're looking for something less bombastic and less symphonic, this is definitely something you should probably check out. Now, let's talk about the length album. It's 51 minutes long, just but by listening to it, you wouldn't believe it was that long. Each song had its own tempo. It's not too fast. It's not too slow. It's not a slog to get through. It's just the right amount to make one cohesive project. Maybe you are sick of breakdown, deathcore, breakdown, deathcore, breakdown, deathcore. Maybe you want something a little different. And this album will deliver that just for you. Because this album relies more on the log guitar riffs than it does breakdowns. So there are breakdowns in here, and there are some subtle symphonic elements here and there, but it's not a symphonic album. To me, it's more of a cinematic album. When it comes to deathcore, I do love my metaphors and my really deep lyrics, but this is not that. This is more straight in your face, brutal, violent deathcore, and I do mean violent. The lead lyrics are violent. To paraphrase the vocalist, he said he wanted to make it more like, if Infant Annihilator was for children, let's put it that way. And, uh, I gotta say, yeah, some of these lyrics are definitely worse than some of Infant Annihilator's lyrics. So, he did succeed at that, so props to you on that, Devin. I honestly enjoy this album. When I have to review something that I really like, then it makes the whole process a lot easier. And this was definitely that for me. Also, what I also like is hear that, that there are some, if you listen closely... Some a lot death metal riffs going on here and there in some of the tracks. And I really always enjoy when Deathcore adds a little something different to it. And this album, for me, did that. So, if you're looking for an album that has really tight production, really great guitar work, awesome vocals, and plus just an interesting concept going on with each song, which you can read the lyrics on YouTube, which I do recommend while listening to this album, it gives it a really different experience. But again, that's just my personal opinion. I really like this album. I'm going to give it a solid 7.5 out of 10. My favorite track on here is probably Absence of God, then followed by that, the Trilogy of Hell. But overall, it's just a really enjoyable experience, and I hope you guys check it out too. So remember, if you like this review, you can check me out on my podcast at Metal Theory Radio. Work is slow right now, but we're getting stuff done and some cool stuff on the way that I do cannot talk about just yet. But as soon as it's ready, I will definitely let you guys know. Thanks again to the band for sending an advanced copy. Please check out this album. I'll put all their social description bomb below. Follow me on my social media too. You guys know the drill. Thanks for listening, sharing, and supporting. Stay metal and later.